a long period of time, and that looked like the momentum there all the way in his. And then in the last 10 minutes, as we watch the replay of the first exchange here from Julian Wilson, just a one maneuver, nice little air, and then the second move, or second wave, sorry, of uh, Kanoe Garashi, going to be a pretty decent score too. Looks like exchange going to Kanoe Garashi. And that's uh, what he's been able to do against uh, Mick Fanning in the one-on-one -on -one competition. He's been able to get that quick start. This means he's feeling confident. So if he can make good choices with his waves, I think he's going to be really hard to beat. Here he goes. Nice length straight up into the pocket. Looking to combo up some turns on this ride instead of going for just that one big major move. Still chasing down some score, scoring potential down the line. Kanoa just behind him. I think it's fair to say Kanoa again gets the best wave of the heat on the set. And he's just been chipping away at these rides. It's so solid. Throughout the event, hasn't he? So solid. In that last heat with John Florence, as soon as he got loose, and next thing you know, he's putting up huge numbers. Good, nice set wave here. Two wave set. And Kanoa on a beautiful long ball. He's got that nice compressed bottom turn, very similar to what we saw from Julian Wilson. You know, you'd have to say that these are evenly matched waves. You know, the only real difference I think for me is that uh, Julian had a little more squirt maybe. But uh, Kanoa had that little extra flare at the end. It's funny, isn't it? Because when you compare the turns or, or just think in transition, Kanoa, he does the turn and then it looks like he resets, whereas Julian's sort of one turn, a little bit more flowing down the line. I don't any know. adjust, any adjust, I know, it's, it's subtleties, right? I mean, these are very similar waves, and, I, you know, the scores have not come in yet, and I think the judges have the same kind of decision. I mean, there's some, very, you know, some greatness for both rides. Um, you know, a similar size set. I mean, there's some flow that I think Julian carries, and then the the squirt and transition that he carries out of the you know, the speed that comes out of the turns with. But uh, you know, if you're to look at uh, you know major maneuvers, I would say that Kanoa probably with that. Here we go. We're just over 18 minutes to go. Kanoa's up again. Finds himself on a quality wave, trying to get rid of a 6.5 to really turn the heat up on Julian. He's been so solid. In his execution from the top right through to the inside. He's generally finished most of his rides with an air reverse on the inside. This wave's going to be no different because that wave just fizzles out. Very complete ride. Right behind him. 17 and a half minutes to go. Take a look at Julian's wave on the outside section. Oh, beautiful arc there. Really dug in. Good second maneuver and third. So this is a pretty solid score as well. You would say that Julian's going to improve on his low score. Just didn't give him that inside finish move, but some solid moves on the outside. In comparison, Kanoe Garashi on his first moves. Good flow through that first move. A little zap back. So some variety here for the fourth maneuver. And he gets the bonus inside section here where he gets uh, another little air flip and pulled off. So uh, remaining events to keep his title hopes alive. Here we go. He's up at the moment. Big wall stretching out. Long bottom turn straight into a huge reverse. The most high risk maneuver we've seen in this event so far. Not the event, I should say, this heat. But he needs to keep working. He hasn't been getting those clean finishes down the line, and it's kind of costing him some points on the exchange. But this time, this wave's lining up pretty nicely for him. And right behind him, Kanoe Igarashi's found another oh, quality wave. This guy is so in sync with what Lower Trestles is serving up at the moment. Oh, the fall at the end, but you know what? He did improve his position. And Julian is looking for an 8.37. But here's what happened on that last wow. one. Whoa. Oh, he matched it. Right out of the gates and actually got a better second turn and a better third. I mean, this is a, feels like this is the best wave of the heat. I mean, look at that wave. That thing just kept bending at him. 
you know, even with the fall at the end. After Julian's wave, I was going to say to you, at, at some point, Kanoa was going to have to find another gear, and he just did. But this is the replay of Julian's ride. He had a pretty good first turn as well. For sure. You know, and I think uh, you would have heard the crowd go wild as well. And, you know, I think at this point, just lacked a little variety, but the wave really didn't give him that opportunity. But he finally does get a, a finish section. And you can hear the crowd, they're actually hooting for Kanoa on the next wave. I mean, it is California, so you would say that he's going to have quite the crowd base here. But look at this, perfect section for this. This is that coping, you know, the little fluff on the top and just punches it. There's a lot to love about the setup for that turn two, really driving into the section, and it was a... And you never know, he might get it. So Kanoa's going to have to keep bringing the fight. To one of the world's best. How was that? That was pretty nice. I mean, very comparable. The angle of approach for me is that oh, yeah. he had a bit more vertical in that maneuver and then much more solid through the midsection of this wave. So you, you feel like of the exchange, even with the fall at the end, that Kanoa is still going to get its slight advantage. I mean, this is a good angle of this, but straight up into it. 11 and a half minutes to go, live action. Julian just trying to mix things up there. We've seen him stomp those final effort, but down the back end of the ratings, there was some very downward progress, unfortunately, as we see Julian Wilson up a little alley-oop there. Now swinging the tail. Looks like Julian's just getting a little desperate at the moment, Pete. Well, has he been building through this heat? Kicked off with a 6-5, then dropped a 7-5, and his last two rides have been even better. Watch the attempt of the alley-oop there you can see the twist of the body to set it up it's almost a individual always consistent at this venue five minutes remaining julian wilson is up and he needs a 9.04 a few attempts now well, here he is getting uh, looking at another opportunity he's gonna let julian take it wilson up a medium-sized wave He's going to load up for something big here. Drives up over this section. Bit of foam on the face. He's going to have to kick out. Wow. Three and a half minutes to go here as we dive into the recap. One of the things that I, I hear the, the guys that are feeding Kanoa Igarashi Intel are always saying is like, you didn't make any mistakes. You surf so well. You put up good numbers against one of the world's best guys. Remember how old you are. You're going to get better. You're going to get stronger. And they're just always reassuring him that he has what it takes to take these big names down. And again, you know, I think he's been around it for so long that, you know, you, you want to believe in that. But, uh, you know, the proof's, I guess, in the pudding sometimes. And um, right now, this is an example of him with high confidence. I mean, you could have easily seen him get this wave and, and, and make a mistake, but he hasn't. He actually put it into sixth and went full bore, and it was needed. He needed to get that 9.3 or else he'd be uh, sitting in second right now. And this heat coming to a close. Kanoa Igarashi, the big tip of the cap to you. Ramping up your surfing at the right time. Julian Wilson taking off, I believe, after the hooter here. And he's going to make his way in. A, a pretty frustrating heat in the final stages, but Kanoa did all the damage early on. Stick around. More to come from Lower Trestles right after the break.